Hello and welcome to Student Pigeon Gaming. I'm Sarah Nightmare and this is The Wolf Among Us Episode 3, uh, A Crooked Mile. Now it's been about two weeks since I uploaded an episode. This is because I have moved house and I haven't had internet since. As you can see, new room! So, let's get started then. So, start episode 3. Really excited for this one as well. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Shit. Alright, so I've just seen a picture of Crane with uh, Lily's sister, Holly. No, Holly. Lily. Holly's sister, Lily. That motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know... I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. The Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. It's better off knowing than not. Probably even more pissed off if we didn't tell her. So we're at Lily's funeral I'm under the I'm bridge. Honored to be asked to speak to her. It's a tradition that everyone speaks. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory it's of Lily guy. will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss worrying about you. And it is in that spirit I'll that I'd fights. like to talk about I'll miss what you. you've all been so grateful Holly. to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and... Now you will never die from indifference. 
or lose it to the She carried a torch life. for the old ways. Goodbye, for sweetheart. Tradition, for Thanks for everything. Pageantry. Vivian. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved you were a her big, friends. Bright, and shining star. She in loved this being shit around. of a town. In good times. And I and miss bad. you already. I never met Ren. Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Who's that guy? Lawrence. Your Highness. Oh, right. oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I, uh... Did you know the deceased, Lily? Oh, um, no, not really. I just came because it, I don't know, felt like a thing I should do, I guess. I was angry at first, when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, that Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too, and I wanted it for Faith, but then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me, for a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evens out. None of this was your fault, Lords. It wasn't my fault, but I didn't stop it. Take care of things, okay? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? I didn't Holly, that wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about I procedures. Think it was Crane. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, feel. you don't know how this must feel. Fuck you, you have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, Crane's what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. 
I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. I should have the illicit photo. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. The flowers. Oh. Was, uh, something. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Woo, more about the fables entry! Yay! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this yeah, goes. Dumb. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What Shit. did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. I'm gonna kill you! Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. Ooh. Fuck, it's, um, thinking all right.
shit. <laughs> and another fantastic um, opening to the Wolf Among Us. Fuck, that's um, one hell of a funeral, I guess, then. So.